Good to know what that deck does now, though. Right, I'm going to try to run through his deck real quick. What did I unlock here for the elves? Sometime today. Oh, yeah, a couple fogs. Fog's a cool card. I like that. It prevents all combat damage for one cost. Let's go look at uh, his deck right quick. What's it called? Um, here it is. Oromancer. And if I knew it was called that, I would have known what the fuck it does. Auras and stuff. It's probably got that one card that's like, for however many auras. Hyena Umbra is a totem armor. 1-1 one, one, first strike for 1. That's a sick ass card right there. Totem armor means if you die, just the totem armor goes away. Rancor. It sounds familiar. Rancor. Like a creature. 1 cost. Enchantment. A creature gets 2-0 and trample. Uh, when it's put into the battlefield... You return Rancor to its owner's hand. Wow, well, that's uh, it's like an infinite 2 0 trample card. That's uh, ridiculous. Oops. Suntail Hawk, 1 1 Flyer for 1. We saw that already. Uh, Wreath of Geists, 1 cost. Enchantment, Enchant Creature gets XX, where X is the number of creature cards in your, gra in your graveyard. From what I can tell, most of his things don't really die, so whatever. Can't be covered, we saw what that does. Can't be blocked by it's basically a flyer that doesn't fly and can't and it's around. Uh Divine Favor, plus one plus three, you gain three life when it comes out, two costs. Iron Fists, uh two costs. It gives it dude trample and puts this two one one saplings out. Pacify, everybody knows what that does. Can't take a block, two costs. Two costs, yeah, two costs. Silhana Ledge Walker. Oh man, I wish I was called a Ledge Walker. Hey, what do you do? Oh, I walk on ledges. <laughs> uh, it's got hexproof. Same thing as Shroud. I don't see the difference at all. Uh, two costs and can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. One one. One one Shroud can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. So he just like comes in and dings you. Two costs, two two. Kitty Cat Nilis. Nilla Wafers, 2 cost, 2 2, Timidate, can't be blocked except by White and Artifact. Stormfront Pegasus, 2 cost, Flyer, 2 1. Sure, man. Uh, Aura Gnarly, yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Uh, 3 cost, 2 2, it gets 1 1 for each aura on the battlefield, and he runs a lot of auras in this thing, so. Uh, and if your power is less than his power, you can't block him, so you can't chump him, you can't double block him. Whatever, pretty much. Uh, Griffin guy, this 2-2 uh, two -two and flying enchantment. And when it dies, a griffin comes out. 2-2 two -two flyer griffin. Cost 3 enchantment. Nice. Mesa enchantress. Not hot. As I pointed out earlier, Randy Gallegos. He learned how to draw some nice boobies. 3 cost 0-2. Oh, draw a card whenever you play an enchantment. Uh, it's a creature, by the way, so uh, it sits out there and can just keep beat on. I think it's a dumb card. Oaken form, uh, three costs, and it's th adds three three uh, enchantment. That's cool. It's an aura as well. Adds to that gnarly dude. Another aura, snake umbra, three costs, one one. When you deal damage to point, you draw a card, and that's another totem. If you don't remember, I just fucking said it. Rewind the video. Uh, Bramble elemental. 5 cost, 4-4. Four, four. Uh, now we're getting into some power here. Whenever an aura becomes attached to Bramble Elemental, you put two 1-1 one, one green saplings. So you just fucking attach a him up. It'd be all nice. I like this one right here. 5 cost. Yeah, it's a little expensive. 3-3 three, three Vigilance. And it's a totem armor. That's nice. Siege Mastodon. 5 cost, 3-5 Nilla Wafers. That sucks. Uh, three dreams. What is this? Five cost. That's a cool little uh, drawing. Five cost. Sorcery. Hold on. Go on. <laughs> Search your library for up to three aura cards with different names. Different names. And reveal them and put them in your hand and shuffle your library. So five cost to grab some auras and show your opponent you got them. And then you got your totem guy at Heart of Beast. Uh, five cost two five. When it enters the battlefield, you search your library for a or card, reveal it, put it in your hand. So it costs five. 
you get a 2-5 out of it and one aura card or you can pay 5 and just take 3 aura cards and you put it, you had to show them, put them in your hand, uh, whatever, I had to play it out and see how they work, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see what we got coming up. Course Spirit Dancer, 2 costs, Course Spirit Dancer gets 2-2 two, two for each aura attached to it, that's pretty sweet. Whenever you cast an aura spell, you may draw a card. Wow, that's, that's a real nice card, and good artwork. I'd hit that, I'd hit that core, I like me some cores. Uh, it starts off with a 0-2, but as you see, it gets stronger, and there's plenty of ores put on it. Four Umbra, another Totem Armor. 3-3 uh, three, three for 3 Totem Armor. That's nice. That's basically this card down here. Where is that? This one? It's this card right here, except for it makes your guy have two lives. That's pretty cool. Lifelink. Channel Creature is Lifelink. Wow. Right? Uh, Oromancer. I've seen this card. IRLZs. 3 cost 2 2. Whenever Oromancer uh, enters battlefield, you return an enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. So, bring the bitches back! Oh, what's this guy? Oh, it's that Hexproof 3 1. 3 cost. He's annoying as shit in real life. Uh, Retether. 4 cost. Uh, return each ore card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Only creatures can be enchanted this way. What? What? Wait a sec. What? Return each aura card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Only creatures can be enchanted this way. Alright. They. I thought it was really only creatures anyways, but... Each aura card. So, oh my god, that's retarded. Look at this. See that? That's an aura, alright? Uh, anything here that, like, pumps stuff? Alright, now I'm not finding any. Anyways, you've seen, like, all these auras. There's another aura. There's an aura. There's an aura, there's an aura, you've seen all these auras that you got, there's an aura, there's an aura, and like, say you're like a little later in the game, I mean, shit, this costs four, four, that's it, I mean, say you're a little later in the game, and uh, you're playing, say, Unquenchable Fire, he keeps beasting your dudes down, and you throw, you got all these aura cards in, uh, in your graveyard, and then you pull up, you fucking whip this guy out one turn, right? They say you got six, you should have six mana that late in the game. You got six mana, you whip this dude out. It's two two for each aura. Jigga 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 You get a retether, whip that dude out, four cost. You put all those auras on that dude. You got a fucking 900 900 hex proof haste trample flying sit on your face crazy creature. And it's game over. That's retarded. That's ridiculous. Four costs. Oh my god. I guess that's why it's a rare. Alright. Anyways. Continuing on. Mythic proportions. Four, five, six, seven. Chain creature gets eight. Eight in trample. That's, that's, uh, that's a little over the top, I think. Mm, I don't like you. You're too mean. Four cost. Chain creature... Gotta go out again, sorry I'm tired. <sighs> this has been my last video for the day. Chain of Creature gets 4-4. Four, four. Has Flying First Strike is an angel. And when it dies, it, this thing goes back to your hand. That's pretty cool. She's cute. Yeah, she's pretty cute. Thanks, Jana and Johannes. Uh, Gigantiform. That's a cool, cool name for a card. 5 costs. 4 kicker. Chain of Creature is 8-8 eight, eight and has Trample. It doesn't get 8-8. Eight, eight. It is 8-8 eight, eight and has Trample. So you pay 5, you turn it into an 8-8 eight, eight Trample. That's that's cool. We take your little 1-1 one, one dudes for 1. That's that's nice. When Giganiform enters the battlefield, if it is kicked, you may search your library for a card named Giganiform. Put it on the battlefield and shove your library. I'm assuming there's more than 1. Yep. So you can pay 4. Shit, dude. Pay 5, you got an 8-8 eight, eight Trample. Out of whoever. You pay 9, you get 288 tramples. That's that's pretty sweet. Uh, armadillo Cloak. Armadillo. 
the cost? This is the first uh, multicolor card I think I've seen. <sighs> uh, Enchanted creature gets 2-2 two, two and has trample for 3 whenever it deals damage. Oh, so <laughs> it also has lifelink. I don't see why I always put that shit on the cards. Here's reunion. Target player gains 7 life for 2. You know what? And it's an instant. That ain't bad at all. That's a good life gain card right there. Nature Spiral. Two costs. Return Carmen. Bring back your permanent. Put it in your hand. Cool. Uh, Felmeroof. Felmeroof. Enchantress. Alright. No words. Put it in a graveyard from Battlefield. Draw a card. Cool. <sighs> two costs. One, two. When it goes. When it dies, draw a card. Lure. All creatures able to block creature do so. That's kind of a lame last unlock, but so there you go. There's the Ormancer deck. Cool. So we got Ormancer so far, and we got Rave Whispers. All we got left is Cloudburst. That's that uh, blue red deck. So I'll be playing that guy next. His name is. Or her, maybe even. I don't know. Raul Zarek. I don't know any of the lore, so... I don't know what the fuck. He looks like... That one dude, though. Koth. Looks like Koth in, like, human form or something. And then I later I can get to these... Arch enemies. We get an arch enemy. Um, yeah. That should be pretty fun. This looks cool. I want to try this out sometime soon, but we'll see. As you can see, uh, I want to point this out before I forget. You go to the end of this thing where you're the arch enemy and you're playing these dudes, right? You go to the end of this thing and uh, remember, like, the best combo to pretty much beat any of the arch enemy campaign. These, these right here, like, you could be, you could run from here to the end using this combo, Jace, Jace, Jace. Three Jaces, put it in the butt. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Go grab this DLC. Check out the rest for yourself. I'll keep posting videos if you can't afford it. Five bucks. And I uh, love you. Bye.